Hey guys, it's Tiffany here from PK Mom Life, and I am here with a Thread Up. Thread Up is like an online consignment store that um, you can get like a monthly um, subscription box, like you do, like Stitch Fix or Trunk Club or Fashion or any of those, um, which is cool. This box looks like it's had some bad days. <laughs> like the um the invoice was sticking outside of the box when I got it so I don't know if they reuse boxes or what but I don't know and this you know you're supposed to send back your stuff in the box that came in so let's see how that goes Okay, and my, this, here's my invoice, um, it is after, I'm just going to apologize real quick, guys, I have a concussion, I got it a week ago, it's been almost two weeks now, and I'm having trouble finding my words still, I have a headache, I just got off work, we were, I had a busy day, so just ex bear with me, I'm just going to do the unboxing right now, and then I'm going to try to do the trout one in the morning, alright, so here is the inside of the box. I feel like this box has been through going back. Um, my stylist is actually a friend of mine. You can request her. Um, she does have a YouTube channel that is not affiliated with Red Up at all. Um, her name is on YouTube Jess Loves Style. So just go check her out. And then she has a Instagram. You can message her if I think she lets you message her on that. If you want her as your stylist, and I think it's Kenzie Ray. So anyhow, you get a invoice. And you get a return label. This has to go back. <gasps> Excuse me. FedEx. Or UPS. Alright, so let's just start pulling. I don't like this. This is. Oh, this is a Stitch Fix piece. Look. Still got the tag on it by Ink Love and Peace. It's a Heatherly Maternity Knit <laughs> Sweatshirt in light gray. <laughs> it's a maternity sweatshirt. You know what? If it's cute, who cares? It's a maternity. It's got the kangaroo pockets. It looks a little big. But it's new with tags, guys. It is new with tags. Let's see. I wonder if this is the unbranded, unbranded sweatshirt. They have it retailed for $48 and it's $21.99. I think that's what that is. All right, next thing is, oh, this must, must be, she told me she sent me a sexy top. <laughs> All right, this is so not a Tiffany top. <laughs> this is um, by City Chic. It's got like a little ruffle at the bottom and it's, you know, skinny straps. I don't, I like to have regular straps. It's lined. Um, estimated retail value is $59 and Threat Up is selling it for $15.99. This is cute. It's cute. It's really good. I mean, you can tell it's very well quality made and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Jess, Jess told me she wants it. All right, next thing is, I like the color of this. It's by Ava. I want to say it's a Walmart brand. Yeah, women's Ava active t-shirt. Um, it retails for $18 and they're selling it for $11.99. It's orange, but if you look at it closely, oh yeah, you guys can see it. It almost looks like it's like burnt out, but it's like an animal print. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, what is this? <laughs> this is a sweatshirt. I feel like this would be, should be an unbranded sweatshirt. There's a game day couture sweatshirt, which I don't know if this is it or not. Wait, 
I think this was the Assorted Brands pullover hoodie. Um, estimated value $48, and they're selling it for $20.99. So this one, that first one. And then this one is an unbranded sweatshirt. And I'm going to guess, it says in here, it's... Um, Read what that says for a red estimate value $48 and it's $21.99. It's extra large and it says normal is boring. It's kind of like a pink color. I like this. Normal is boring. Okay, next it's a pair of jeans. They are by Gap. These might be jeggings actually. These are jeggings. Um, they are a size. Fourteen. And a same value of eighty dollars and are selling them for nineteen ninety nine. And these are they're like a dark burgundy color. They look to be in fairly good shape. I mean, oh, there's holes in the knees. I think that's supposed to be there. I think these are supposed to be there. These are regular length though, so I don't know how well it'll fit me because I'm not a regular length kind of girl. I'm <laughs> short. Does have seam um, peeling in the crotch area, I see. Right, next thing, oh, just this much. Is the game day couture sweatshirt for $71. It's the estimated value for $15.99. I am a West Virginia girl. I love this. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome that you found this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. It has like the little vents on the side. I love this. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like a, a like a tie-dye war look, too. I really like that. Oh, goodness. All right. This, which I don't know about this. And Jess, what the hell are you thinking? Oh, baby. Okay, this is an apartment nine um, petite extra large dress. Retailed for $50, and it's $24.99. This is pretty. I don't know if it's me or not, though. very loud <laughs> but I think it would be very slimming too and it looks big for a petite and being I mean a lot of times the petite extra larges are just even still like are not big enough Ooh, these are cute okay these are a pair of jet leggings I think these are the um, Old Navy Active Pants. They are retail for $33 and they are $79. Or I'm sorry, $17.99. But they're leggings. Look, I love that. You guys can really see the pattern really well on the camera. But then on the back, it has this little orange detail. So like that with this. Actually, look kind of cute. I mean, they're not the same. This is more coral than this is orange. But I mean, like when you that far apart, who's gonna tell the difference, right? Okay. Next thing is a animal print cardigan. Yeah, I think this is fairly new because look. Let's see. This is, oh yeah, the women's Ellen Tracy cardigan. It's a size extra large. The estimated retail value on this is $149. And ThreadUp has it for $35.99. Wow. $149 for a sweater. I don't think so. This looks really big. 
it looks really big so i'll have to try this on of course it's really nice and heavy like this was almost heavy enough for me to have me wear the jacket because i hate wearing jackets all right the next thing is another pair of women's gap jeggings and these are denim i've never had a pair of jeggings before so i'm just like kind of excited to try these they are a size 14 they estimate value of 80 dollars, and they're on sale for 19.99 i actually like these they look really good I like this. So we'll try those on. And last but not least is another animal print. Oh, this is new with tags too. Um, The, again, sweatshirt was originally $34, estimated, and they have it on sale for $26.99. It has the tag on it still. And it's like a light sweatshirt material. And it's just animal print. How cute is that? Jess, you did good again. All right, I can't wait to try this stuff on. I will try it on tomorrow. Okay, my before box has seen better days. It has seen better days. I may have to find a different box to spend my stuff back in. <laughs> so, anywho, I hope you guys have a great night. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and check, um, hit the thumbs up button. And make sure you hit subscribe on me, my channel, if you haven't yet. Um, and when you do that, make sure the notification bell is hit. Because you want to get notified when I post my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, right? Because I'm giving away a $50 gift card to Amazon. <laughs> and all kinds of other stuff, too. So, if you want to get notified when I post that, that way you can watch it and see what I get. Alright, guys. Stay Thanks, guys, for watching so far. Stay tuned for the trial. Alright, let's do this trial ones a few days later. Um, let's see. This is one of the pair of Gap Jeggings. They are $20. That's not too bad. They're a little tight up here around the waist, but I am losing weight, so kind of okay with that. Um, this sweatshirt is by the Long and Peace. Um, I think this is the Assorted Brands Pullover Hoodie. This is actually a um, maternity top, but I don't mind it. It's brand new with tags on it. It's $20.99. $20 I don't think you can tell it's from maternity wear. I mean, if you guys can, if you can tell, tell you know, tell me, but I don't think you can tell that's maternity. So there is this. I like these. I like these actually like these jeggings. Um they're a good length. Um the collar is not too bad. So they're just a little tight up around waist. I know my lighting's not very good right now. I'm sorry. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, as you guys can tell, this sweatshirt's way too tight. <laughs> so normal is boring sweatshirt it is um i think this piece is, is supposed to be the unbranded sweatshirt um and it's 21 dollars and 99 cents don't like this i mean i like it it's just too tight too tight okay this is the game day couture sweatshirt um for 15.99 i was very excited that just sent this to me because i'm West Virginia on it <laughs> and that's my home state it's a little too tight so I don't know if I'll be keeping this either I told Jenny over at Jenny June that she may want it but I don't know if it'll fit her either it doesn't fit me and she's smaller here than I am but she's a tad taller than me so I don't know if the length will be too short on her or not I don't know. 
but I think this may be a little bit too tight. Okay, I've got three of the things on, but of course I wouldn't wear all these together. Hope I've got the wrong list. Hold Sorry, on, I had the wrong price list. Okay, so the first thing I have on is this women's Ellen Tracy cardigan. The estimated retail value on this is $149, and ThreadUp has it for $35.99. It is very thick. It has, it's still new with tags. I just don't think I would wear it. Oh, cause I, oh, it's caught in my hair. <laughs> the tag is caught in my hair. Hold on just a second. Hey, never mind. It wasn't actually the tag to this. Um, it was the tag to the top I have on. But this is so heavy. I just don't think I would wear it because I mean, I do, I am kind of warm natured. So I just don't think I would wear it. Okay, this next thing is I it's still got tags on it. I think this is the again. I can't tell. Um The Egan sweatshirt, maybe? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it. Um, and they have it for $34. This does have tags on it and $26.99. It's not bad. It's just a little tight. <coughs> God bless me. It's just a little tight. So I don't think I would wear it. But I do like it. Now, the last thing is the other pair of leggings. Sorry, my sister was open. It's the other pair of leggings from Gap. These are burgundy in color. I can feel the zipper falling down. Um, these are also $19.99, just like the other ones. They have the holes in the knees. I just don't think this, this is, I, I just don't think I would wear them. And then the other thing I was wanting to show you guys is this. I just dropped the toy. Um, it's City Chic, size 14. It is super cute. However, I couldn't, it, it like it went down over the girls, but it didn't fit right. So, um, this is $15.99. It retails for $59.99. It just, uh, it's really like there's a layer here, under layer that's like polyester. There's no stretch whatsoever in this shirt. So it just wasn't going down over the girls. But it would look cute, I think, with the burgundy jeans if it had fit. <laughs> okay, so here is the next two things. This is the um, Active, the Old Navy Active Pants. They are $17.99. And the Ava Active T-shirt is $11.99. And this is pretty much exactly how it works. I already have on a sports bra. I really like these pants. I really like them. Get the orange in the back. You can see that. And I actually like this top. Um, like I said, I mean, this is pretty much how I would wear it because I do have a sports bra bra. Sports bra bra. A sports bra on today. These feel really good. They feel like they're going to stay up where they're supposed to be. Like they're not going to be falling down, I feel like. So that's good. These pants are definitely a keeper. Definitely. Okay, and this is the last thing. I've done something with my card again, but this, my price sheet, this is not going to work. Because see this band here? You're supposed to be able to see it. And you can't. <laughs> Honestly, did not think I was going to get it pulled down over top my girls. But I did somehow. I do have it. The, the workout pants still in there. So, if this was, my boobs were a little bit smaller, this probably would have fit just fine. Or if this was one size up. I mean, it covers the bra on I have. I mean, I don't have the right bra on anyhow, but still, I don't think it would have fit. Anyways, and this white here, that's just my bra. 
I'm recording. <laughs> hey guys, we've got um Iron Spider. Iron Spider Man visiting right now. So I just finished a um trial one for um trunk not trunk club shoot. Thread up. I just did trunk club too, that's why I said that. These are a definite keeper. Keeping these. And I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these because they are practically brand new and I do like them. I don't have anything like this in my closet. Neither are the Gap Denim um, jeggings. And even though this is maternity, I think it was maternity. Let me double check. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it too. I mean, it's new with tags on it. Yeah, and this is a Stitch Fix shirt. Um, and it's the Ink Love and Peace Heatherly Maternity Knit Sweatshirt in a 1X. It's light gray. See, so, I mean, it's a Stitch Fix shirt. So, definitely keeping that. Maybe. Yeah. Definitely keeping this. So, guys, let me know what y'all think down below of everything. And if you haven't tried the thread up yet, you need to go try it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye, Spider-Man. Bye. Parker, by the way. <laughs> and um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And um, the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Mwah.